Sixty check seconds. One, check two. Test one. Test two. Cookie Hun, we're getting a little feedback. Could you turn down the levels on your mic? Oh, thank I'm you. I'm sorry. Hi, my name's Raul. It's nice to meet you. Tell me how many people are playing the game. Number one. One player. Hey, don't sweat it. One's better than nothing. Right? Moving along, you want seven or twenty-one questions? Thank you very much. Okay, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash, okay? All right. Now check it out. These front buttons are going to be your buzzers, and then you'll hit one of these four bad boys to pick the answers. Got it? Good. Ten seconds. Let's go to black. Nine. All right, folks. All right, See graphics you on the other are good. Side. Bring in the logo. Six, five, four, three. My Little Doppelganger. Also available, My Little Split Personality and My Little Addiction. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, look at you playing Jack by yourself. Can I let you in on a little secret? You're gonna win. Now then. Hey, all by yourself today? Okay, let's see if you can fill up that seat next to you with some cash. Let's rock. All right, hit me. Okay, give it up for the Wonder Light Years. This one can net you a grand. Let's rock. If birthdays were measured in light years, what would you sing for the second verse of Happy Birthday? How old are you now? How far away are you now? How bright are you now? Or how fast are you now? Light years measure the distance light travels over the period of one year. But you still look like a monkey, and you smell like one, too. Okay, pick a category. <laughs> now serving... Answer this question now! How does $2,000 sound? Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. If you're in a high-pressure situation during a low-pressure weather system, which of these are you most likely doing? Sweating in the rain, chilling out in the sun, stressing in the clear, or sleeping in the freezing cold? Huh? <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. A low-pressure weather system has air moving up, cooling, and having its moisture condensing, which leads to wet weather. We would have also accepted peeing yourself during a hurricane. Category, please. The selection is poof. There goes the band. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Okay, imagine you're at this amazing rock concert. During the final song, the band gets so intense that they go directly from their solid state to a gaseous state. Considering the term for this, which band are you probably watching? Crystal Method, Menudo, The Spice Girls, or Sublime? Nice. In scientific terms, if you sublime something, you make it go directly from solid to gas and skip over the liquid state. Man, chemistry rocks! Okay, I need a category. You can't stop at three, no, you gotta head for, yeah! Shake hands with high fiber psychedelic. This one's worth a grand. Okay, you probably know that mescal is a psychedelic drug derived from cactus. I don't know why you probably know that, but I'll assume you do. Okay, 
If you try to get high by abusing mescaline, what would you be smoking? Banana peels, tea, grape leaves, or lettuce? Oh, that one gets me every time. In case you're wondering, mescaline is a salad mixture of assorted fancy lettuces like oak leaf and radicchio. So it's just a salad, unless you add some mushrooms. I need a category. Let's blow this down and head for number five. This one likes to go by. That's what you get for 20 years of service. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Okay, pay attention now, as opposed to the other questions where you don't listen to me at all. Suppose you're talking to your boss and he's being a real jerk and pissing you off. Now suppose you decide to let him know how you feel by pithing him off. What have you done to him? Have you opened his chest with scissors, stuck a pen in his eye, jammed a ruler down his throat, or driven a pencil through his spine? a good one. Let's take a look at the right answer. Pithing means sticking something through something's spinal cord in order to kill it. Well, at least you'll give your company a new product to market. The brand new Boss on a Stick. Alright, hit me. This little number's known as Ain't That America, home of the indecisive. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Take a look at this analogy and tell me what best completes it. Armistice Day is to Veterans Day as John Mellencamp is to what? John Cougar, John Cougar Mellencamp, John Hyatt, or American Fool? In 1954, Armistice Day officially became Veterans Day, just like young Mr. Mellencamp became John Cougar. <laughs> and of course, there was that awkward period around 52 when it was calling itself Veterans Armistice Day. Okay, pick a category. The category is, at least the hookers are nearby. Thousand bucks if you get it. Oh yeah, time to hit Atlantic City for a big gambling weekend. You want to save as much money as possible for gambling in Atlantic City. Given the prices on the Monopoly board, where should you stay? b and Railroad, Baltic Avenue, Oriental Avenue, or St. James Place? One turn stay on Baltic Avenue will cost you four bucks. It's kind of a creepy neighborhood over there, though. You know, with the stray dog and then the shoe and top hat walking around by themselves. Category, please. You chose wisely, my friend. You just got your hands on a dis or dat. <laughs> The category for this dis or dad is, show me your green card. Listen up, I'm going to read off seven movie titles and you have to tell me, are the aliens in the movie nice or mean? If the aliens are nice, slap that square button. If they're mean, just use the circle and press the triangle button to skip. For each right answer, you get 500 bucks. And you lose 500 for a wrong answer or one you don't get to. Alright, I'll start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. And we're off! Alien, nice alien or mean alien? Mac and me! My stepmother is an alien! Critters! Brother from another planet! Munchies! Last one! I come in peace! Six right. Not quite perfect, but you can't get any closer. Let's throw it into your score. 
Okay, that's something. Let's keep going. Okay, I need a category. Aloha, question number nine. Here we have... Ugh. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Which of these is not an alcoholic beverage? Snog, grog, glug, or eggnog? Eggnog? Sorry, but if you're thinking of that stuff that comes in the cartons that you buy around the holidays, well, you gotta add rum to that to really make eggnog. Otherwise, it's just curdled milk. Here's what you should have picked. <laughs> Snog is not an alcoholic beverage. It's not really anything. Unless, of course, you add a little personal touch to your holiday eggnog. <laughs> Don't lose your cool, cause you're about to join a three-way. Okay, this is simple, but hear me out anyway. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. When the correct three-way member is lit up, buzz in. If you make a match, you pack it a thousand bucks. But watch out, if you're wrong, you'll lose a grand every time you're wrong. Okay, this lovely three-way goes by the category of... Eee! A pack of rats! And that means for this one, we've got the quintessential group of rats, Rank, Sammy, and Dean. Alrighty, watch your buzzer. Here we go. Okay, that's all she wrote. Hmm, I wonder how you did. You're the best and not the worst, but let's see how your overall score looks. That's it for round one. Let's go to round two. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. All right, hit me. The category? Swearing can be fun. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Jeez, those celebrities are always getting themselves into legal trouble. If you were in court, who would most likely swear to tell the Four Noble Truths, the whole Four Noble Truths, and nothing but the Four Noble Truths? The Pope, Martin Luther, the Dalai Lama, or John Calvin? A Buddhist, the Dalai Lama believes in the Four Noble Truths. <laughs> Mr. Lama, do you swear to tell the Four Noble Truths, the whole Four Noble Truths, and nothing but the Four Noble Truths, so help you God? And which God would that be? Okay, pick a category. Coming at you. Heroes get the shaft. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Ever notice that according to comics, all you have to do to get superpowers is be exposed to a ton of radiation? Well, if you got a high dose of radiation in real life, what superpower would you probably have afterwards? Is it the ability to glow in dark, evil places, sneeze with great force, projectile vomit at enemies, or inflame your bones to a larger size? Extremely high doses of radiation will cause nausea and vomiting, so you can projectile vomit at your enemies. 
And then you can follow that up by using the other superpower it gives you. Death! Category, please. Swing your partner one in three! A do si -do for the big third time! Let's see what we got going. Loose as a goose. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Put it in gear, cause here we go. To which Mother Goose character would it be most appropriate to send a card from that tiny little division of Hallmark? Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater, the old woman who lived in a shoe, Little Bo Peep, or Old Mother Hubbard? Well, you're toast. Bet you wish you'd pick this. The old woman who lived in a shoe could use a shoe box, that tiny little division of Hallmark. Well, then they'd have to change the whole rhyme. Let's see, there was an old woman and she lived in a shoe box. Maybe she wouldn't have had so many children if she hadn't had so many. Hmm, you know, I, I guess nothing rhymes with box. Okay, I need a category. And this one is blonde jokes which are accurate. How does $2,000 sound? Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. Mathematically speaking, what's the difference between a blonde and a lawyer? A blonde plus a lawyer? <laughs> Have you ever considered dyeing your hair? In order to find the difference between two quantities, you subtract them. As for the difference between a blonde and a lawyer, well, this is a blonde. Hello. And this is a lawyer. I've been advised not to take part in this joke. I need a category. Not 14, not 16, you're right in between. Well, what do we have here? Sorry, thumbs up where? 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Heads up, here it comes. Considering which country produces more films than any other, where would Siskel and Ebert's thumbs get the biggest workout? United States, China, France, or India? More films come out of India each year than any other country. And pretty much any piece of paper there gets used as a movie script. They've remade the phone book four times now. All right, hit me. Well, looks like this category is, come on, Irene. Set up straight, this one's worth $6,000. Let's see how you handle this one. If singer Irene Cara suddenly turned into a Cara Cara, which of these lines from her hit song Fame would be most appropriate for her to sing? I'm gonna live forever, I'm gonna learn how to fly, hi, baby remember my name, or people will see me and die. Fame. A Kara Kara is a type of falcon, so the line about flying would be so very fitting. <laughs> then she'd fly away and we'd never hear from her again. Oh, wait. Okay, pick a category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, fresh on 17. This one's called... The bingo ate your baby. Get a right answer. You're walking away with four grand. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Which of these would you never hear at a bingo parlor? O74. Bingo. I-29. Bingo. N-51. Bingo. Or G-60. Bingo. In bingo, every letter has a group of 15 numbers, so B is from 1 to 15, I is from 16 to 30, and so on. The N stop at N45. <laughs> B.M. 6. Uh-oh, I just pooped myself. Category, please. For 
for your enjoyment. Tragically unhip. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Hey, you know how some people give really bad gifts on your birthday? It's a tragedy, isn't it? Considering the Greek words from which the word tragedy is derived, which of the following gifts could really be described as a tragedy? A crying cow, a whistling dog, a singing goat, or a dancing mosquito? Whoa. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Tragedy comes from the Greek words meaning goat song, so a singing goat would be a real tragedy of a gift. <laughs> Okay, I need a category. Step right up for question 19. And I believe this one's called, Don't Ask, Don't Spell. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Listen up, you maggots! Spelling this word could save your lives! Soldier, how do you spell the word that means troops riding around on horses or in tanks or even in helicopters? Like this, 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 or this? Feels good, don't it? Troops pinned down. Need support from Cal. Clap. Not Cal. Ah, hell, just send some bombers. I need a category. This category is known as a corsage for a carnivore. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Listen up. Remember that one-eyed, one-horned flying people eater from the 50s song? Well, if that people eater were being hunted and wanted to hide in a flower garden, what kind of flowers would provide the best camouflage? Lilies, lilacs, sunflowers, or daisies? The people eater from the song was purple. <laughs> so since lilacs are commonly purple, they would provide the best cover. Although with his one eye and one horn, he might be better off hiding in the crowd at a Lollapalooza tour. <laughs> All right, hit me. to the jack attack. Keep your eyes on the screen and when you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. What am I supposed to do here? If you listen to the damn directions, maybe you'd know. Well, too late now. Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself and you came out on top. Not many people can say that, but I know plenty of people who can say... You don't know Jack!
Nice work, people. Let's get those commercials rolling. And, uh, hey, Raul, can you find out if we're doing another one of these? Well, look who made it onto the high scoreboard. Nice job. Big whoop. End of your name. Blah, blah, blah. Very good. Now this I'll uh, go alert the media and see if we can get some press coverage for you. Hey, I don't do this for everyone, just ah, people who have just played the game. So if you want to play again, here, let me know. Let me rub your shoulders. And hope is running out. Ugh, my breastplate is stuck. Here, Zenora, let me help you. All on the next Zenora. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Pretty good, Bill. Wish I could say the same for you there. What? Oh, man, I must have splashed some water when I was washing my hands. Don't feel bad, Bill. I used to get those embarrassing spots on the front of my pants, too. You did? Sure, but then I got the shield. The shield? What is it? The shield is the leakage absorption pad for men that takes the anxiety out of post-urination drip. No more shaking, no milking, no painful twisting. Sounds great, but how does it work? Here, let me show you. Oh. Oh. It's that easy. Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. Say, is that your shield? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Funding Deutsche Feldenkampf. Ubernostrum. It's delicious. Ubernostrum tastes just like candy. I mean, it's tasty. I enjoy the freedom of Ubernostrum. It takes the pain away. Ubernostrum. Ubernostrum makes me feel... Fresh. Ubernostrum improved my golf game. I made $20,000. I never knew love, and, and then I tried Ubernostrum. Ubernostrum! I haven't cried in weeks, I think. You should take Ubernostrum, just in case. There's no downside. It looks great. I look great. I feel great now. I feel good. Good. Goodness. Savory goodness. Ubernostrum! This is gonna sound strange, but I feel like a more like a woman. I feel more like a woman. Ubernostrum changes lives. Thank you, Ubernostrum. Thank God for Ubernostrum! Du mussen mehr gut gefühlen. Mit Obernostrum. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a plan is hatched. Zenora, what should we do? We'll have to make them think we're enemies. Quick, fake a cat fight. Ah, my hair! And a friendship is strengthened. That cat fight got me so dusty. Here, let me give you a sponge bath. All on the next Zenora. Does your house smell like ass? Find out what you can do tonight. People all over the world are falling unconscious for six to eight hours every night. What is this sleeping disease? Do you have it? Find out tonight.